descending from leg lift, the responsibility of the drive leg is to absorb the energy that's descending from peak leg lift. There's energy to be had as we come down. It's like you're if you're on a scale with the single leg, that right leg, that drive leg, that scale is going to increase, right? The, 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 the weight into that scale is going to increase as we descend from leg lift. That's forced to be then absorbed in our drive leg to then produce into the ground. That's ground force production. That's something we want to do and we want to accomplish and grasp that. And then um, still into the drive leg mechanics, we want to store that energy, right? We want to store some of that energy to have throughout our drive phase up until the point in which our hips rotate and then our lead leg blocks, right? So you're producing energy into the ground. You're producing forward energy abiding by the slope and then blocking all of that at the correct moment in time picture perfect world. And um, starting with the drive leg, obviously, this is where I want to focus for for you. That's going to be the first thing that I'm going to program for you. um, Because more oftentimes than not, you look at breakdowns from long toss to the mound, right? So long toss at 320. If your long toss is 320, that means you have like 91, 90, you know, 90.5, 91 miles an hour out of the hand in your long toss. That's a that's a pretty decent size mechanical breakdown from the mound, right? And for me, a lot of the times we look at the drive leg mechanics as a as a huge piece that's that's breaking down on the slope because we don't have that extra sense of like stability when we slam on that that rear foot in our in a crow hop throw or a shuffle throw, right? So for you, you can see that uh, instead of driving, I perceive that it's kind of just falling into your anchor point. Okay. So when I look at your drive leg mechanics and your long toss, dude, I see sticking, stabilizing and producing, right? That's a really good posture there. This is something that I look at in terms of, uh, like authentic versus inauthentic stability. Whereas like you have, you showcase the movement pattern of the drive leg that we see here. When you have that foot slamming into the ground, providing external sense of stability, and then that stabilizes your drive leg and it corkscrews it. And now we have stored energy and we snap it into rotation, which then comes with the kinetic chain, which then increases your layback of your arm action, which is obviously going to be the tip of the whip increases your power. So when we don't have that on the mound, it looks like it's just a fall instead of a drive, which then is going to limit the, the, the amount of layback in the arm to me. So that's a huge piece. That's going to be our number one emphasis is optimizing the drive leg mechanics on the slope, drive, 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 produce, store. I think that's going to be a huge piece. Okay. Tristan McKenzie, leg lift, descend, remember the drive leg, drive leg responsibility, absorb, produce, and store does just that, right? That's really good. That's, I mean, that's really impressive in terms of, of the, the, the drive leg mechanics that he's showing. Um, whereas you, like I said, fall, which again, common, and then that, the optimizing of the drive leg mechanics then will optimize the timing of that hip rotation where it snaps into rotation. You'll see the hand come up at that point in time when the front foot anchors down trunk, then pulls the arm through and increases the amount of acceleration he has with the arm. And then the trail leg stays in the hip extension, lead leg block. Bada bing, bada boom. You can even see that we talked about with you with the arm action. When he's anchoring down, his front foot touches, right? See where his hand is in relation to elbow, shoulder, elbow a little bit below the shoulder, hand above the elbow and the shoulder, inside that threshold to then when we release that rotational energy, we're capturing it, right? We have that available, capturing that with our hand. And that's naturally increasing arm speed. All right, arm speed is not generated by arm the arm alone. All right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys, much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three, you're out!